and welcome to your Go Market Update. Chance of the day for today, Thursday, the 27th of April 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Let's have a look at the news first of all. And you can see here we've got a mixed session on Wall Street overnight. The Nasdaq was the only index to close higher, the Dow and the SP 500 slightly lower on close. We had big tech positive earnings again after the bell with Meta beating expectations up significantly in after hours trading. Uh, US earnings continue, of course, with another big day today, and we've got key data over the next couple of days. We'll talk about that in a moment. US futures are back, or US futures are positive on the back of those earnings. Asian markets generally lower, though. ASX is trading 0.4% to the downside. The Chinese index is the only index in positive territory so far. European markets are also pointing to a lower open this afternoon. Now, the VIX has pulled back a little bit after the previous day's up move, possibly on the back of good earnings. The US dollar index was down yesterday, moves back near support, pretty neutral today so far. Uh, gold looked as though it was going to breach 2000. It was testing it for a lot of yesterday, uh, but failed to breach it at the end of the day. Uh, copper is holding support and oil has dropped through support. Uh, some significant selling in the energy space yesterday. Bitcoin is choppy, but testing resistance. Uh, we had an up day yesterday, but it did produce quite a wild ride for those in cryptos over the course of the session. US earnings continue, as I've said. Uh, you've got Eurozone consumer confidence, but the headline data today is US weekly jobs and the preliminary GDP number out of the US. On top of that, of course, we've got monthly PCE data today, but it's the year on year figure tomorrow, which is most important. It's the Fed's favourite inflation measure. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, the Euro Canadian dollar looks interesting. We'll put it on a 30 minute chart just so you can see the bigger picture. It's been uptrend now for a number of days, had a little retracement. Then a move up to this 151.17 level and a pullback during the US session last night, uh, whilst recovering towards the back end of the session. So we've now had created a resistance level around about this 150.65. Let's just bring this in a little closer. So what we think is if we breach this level, then we could retest certainly 151, which would be a move up of around about 37 pips in the first instance. Then, of course, we've got this level to test. If we breach that, we could be up again. So one to watch going forward and certainly looks as though it could move higher if there's some further buying pressure to push it through that resistance. On the ASX, we've got very little doing well today, but we do like the look of Adair's Limited, ticket code ADH. Uh, you can see there we've got a resistance that's quite well established at about 229. We have got pretty close to that, within a cent of that in today's trading. To look as though we break it out of the short-term range it's been trading in. Should we breach that, then certainly a move up towards around 243, 250 is on the card. Let's just put a line there at 245. And you can see there, there could be a move higher of around about 6.8%. The only thing that might slow this down is this 200 EMA, which is sitting around 236. So that's the risk. And certainly that will be a good trail point if we do get some buying pressure coming to this stock. A worthwhile waiting, of course, until the setup is complete. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.